going to introduce my part. Uh, normally we would have a laser system to show where to put it. As you can see here, I've made a couple of black tick marks to show where my corner is. I lay the part down by hand. I come in and uh, step on the foot pedal, turn vacuum on, and at this point the part is already held down. Uh, there's, there's no screwing around, no padding with the hammer, you turn the vacuum on and the part stays down. And so, let's check out the part being cut. Doing a tool change, we're picking up a down shear, excuse me, an up shear cutter. We're cutting actually full depth. We're going all six quarter or inch and uh, nearly inch and three eighths through the material right now. We're leaving a membrane on the bottom. Then we're pocketing out the remaining part of the material. As you can see in cherry being a pretty soft wood, most of the blocks actually uh, kick out of the way before we machine it. particular part has a couple of steps in it. And now a tool change to the slotting cutter. In this case we're picking up a three and three eighths diameter tool. Basically a small saw blade. And now you can see the finished part. You can see the skinny rib. And if I walk over to this piece, It'll pop off, leaving a small rib. In this particular case, this part will be part of a hardwood uh, banding and it will be reassembled around a piece of sheet material and reintroduced to the router for the profile edge and so that rib won't even need to be sanded. It will come off during the final machining. Again, this is an Anderson Stratus SUP 5x10 foot table. With questions, you can contact Scott Kapusman at 715-532-5748.